chosen person in the Bible sinned. And sometimes read these stories and say, oh, we are okay because they were all. Their stories are written for us so that we can know what is okay and what is mm -hmm. not okay. Okay, why don't you take it and bring the money tomorrow? And I told the principal, I was nine years old, I told the principal, I have a better idea. Yeah. Right? And my better idea was, I'll come tomorrow with the money and you can give me the tie tomorrow. Said, whatever. And, and I left. Afterwards, he came to our home and he said to my parents, your son is tough. You, you, whatever you have done, you have given him a very, very strong compass. Now that's the story that the world knows. The story that the world doesn't know that I came home and cried. It's not easy to stand up and say what Nathan did. It's not easy to stand up to power and tell the power that you are wrong. In life is that when you have the power to know the limits of your power and to exercise restraint because no one else is going to do that for you. And David did not apply restraint in his power. In this story that Nathan tells David, how much do you want? That rich man had everything. He had so many, mm. but he wanted more. Mm. Because in the end, guess what? When you are truthful, is when you can put a stop to people like David. The beauty of this story is that Nathan did it with love. And that is the prime thing. That is, that is exactly right. We are a social animal, right? We love to be in communities. And this is exactly why we, all of us who believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, Form a community. That is what makes our Christian faith so strong that we are not alone in speaking truth to power. Done right, like Nathan did it. The response is absolutely beautiful. I accept that I didn't do it right. I have sinned. I need to confess. That my friends, is the beauty of our Christian faith.